She know in the deep there's adventure and danger. That's where you'll find Oliver Dan. The sight that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Hi there. Dumpster Diver Dan here. Well, I found me a couple items for my uh, uh, dumpster diver soup today. What do you say we get at it? So, here is our finished soup. Uh, when we get done with this uh, dumpster diver combination, I'll throw up the list of ingredients so you can get an idea what those look like. Remember, I don't really stick to this list necessarily. It's whatever I got, whatever I found in the dumpster. All right, here we've got a kind of a visual on what I'm going to use today. I've got my liquids, which is beef broth, chicken broth, and crushed tomatoes. I also have some cherry tomatoes left over that, that uh, were in the garden. And uh, once again, this stuff is pretty easy to, to figure out. I did substitute white cabbage. That's all I've got instead of the red cabbage that was called for in the original recipe. A little clove of garlic and uh, that's cayenne pepper. You may or may not decide that you want to use that. Uh, depends on your own personal preference. And some carrots. And those I'm going to start with uh, scraped off and then chopped up. Once again, use your own the way you like to do things. I like uh, small pieces that will cook all about the same length of time. I'm going to do the same with the uh, russet potato. You can use red potatoes if you want. I just happen to like the, uh, the harder texture and the longer cooking time of the russets. And plus that's what I had, that's what I found in the dumpster. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I actually got all these out of the store. I didn't get them out of the dumpster, guys. So we'll get that done. Uh, throw that in there. This is a piece of cabbage. And once again, when I'm putting this stuff together, I am looking for general quantities. I'm not really trying to measure stuff. I'm using a couple of sticks of celery, a little bit of cabbage, a little bit of carrots. You just have to kind of eyeball it. Same with the, the onion here. Don't really measure things that much. I'm just kind of doing it by feel and really by experience. One clove of garlic for this particular deal. and I thought it'd be fun to take the garlic, the cherry tomatoes, and the tops off the celery and just throw those into my little chopper machine, which I love. I'm going to get the lid on and give that a quick chop. And once again, I'm just looking for flavor here. I'm not really looking uh, for something to, to chew into, just flavor that these will bring to the soup. We're going to go ahead and assemble our soup. There's about 45 ounces all together there of uh, liquid material. If you want, you can add a little bit of water. Uh, just judge it, uh, get it to the consistency that you like your soup. We're going to throw our, our veggies in. Uh, once again, there's no rhyme or reason. I just use these little glass containers to hold uh, everything so uh, I was ready to assemble it for this film. That's our chopped cherry tomatoes, parsley tops, and garlic. Our parsley, red cayenne pepper, and the, uh, the finished deal. We're going to go ahead and bring that to a boil after we give it a quick stir. And you can see now we've brought it up to a boil. I've reduced the heat to a low simmer because I don't want to cook this really too fast. I want it to kind of sit and, and have the flavors come together. And we'll let that go for about an hour and a half to two hours. So that's the deal with the uh, dumpster diver soup. Uh, anyone that tries this, uh, send me a comment, let me know what you thought, and uh, everyone else, you have a great day, and thanks for watching.